under the gaze of Mary. Total consecration to Jesus through Mary. The 12 preliminary days. The theme is the spirit of the world. Examine your conscience, pray, practice renouncement of your own will, mortification, purity of heart. This purity is the indispensable condition for contemplating God in heaven, to see him on earth and to know him by the light of faith. The first part of the preparation should be employed in casting off the spirit of the world, which is contrary to that of Jesus Christ. The spirit of the world consists essentially in the denial of the supreme dominion of God, a denial which is manifested in practice by sin and disobedience. Thus, it is principally opposed to the spirit of Christ, which is also that of Mary. It manifests itself by the concupiscence of the flesh, by the concupiscence of the eyes, and by the pride of life by disobedience to God's laws and the abuse of created things. Its works are sin in all its forms, then all else by which the devil leads to sin. Works which bring error and darkness to the mind and seduction and corruption to the will. Its pomps are the splendor and the charms employed by the devil to render sin alluring in persons, places and things. The first day, the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 5, verses 1 to 19. The Beatitudes Seeing the crowds, he went up the hill. There he sat down and was joined by his disciples. Then he began to speak. This is what he taught them. How happy are the poor in spirit! Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy the gentle. They shall have the earth for their heritage. Happy those who mourn. They shall be comforted. Happy those who hunger and thirst for what is right. They shall be satisfied. Happy the merciful. They shall have mercy shown them. Happy the pure in heart they shall see God. Happy those who are persecuted in the cause of right, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy are you when people abuse you and persecute you and speak all kinds of calumny against you on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. This is how they persecuted the prophets before you. Salt of the earth and light of the world. You are the salt of the earth. But if salt becomes tasteless, what can make it salty again? It is good for nothing and can only be thrown out to be trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hilltop cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp to put it under a tub. They put it on the lampstand where it shines for everyone in the house. In the same way, your light must shine in the sight of men, so that, seeing your good works, they may may give praise to the Father in heaven. The Fulfilment of the Law Do not imagine that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish but to complete them. I tell you solemnly, till heaven and earth disappear, not one dot, not one little stroke, shall disappear from the law until its purpose is achieved. Veni Creator Come, O Creator Spirit, blessed, and in our souls take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. Great Paraclete, to thee we cry, O highest gift of God most high, O font of life, O fire of love and sweet anointing from above. 
thou in thy sevenfold gifts art known, the finger of God's hand we own, the promise of the Father thou, who dost the tongue with power endow. Kindle our senses from above, and make our hearts o'erflow with love, with patience firm and virtue high, the weakness of our flesh supply. Far from us drive the foe we dread, and grant us thy true peace instead. So shall we not, with thee for guide, turn from the path of life aside. O oh, may thy grace on us bestow, the Father and the Son to know, and thee through endless times confessed, of both the eternal Spirit blessed. All glory while the ages run, be to the Father and the Son, who rose from death, the same to thee, O Holy Spirit, eternally. Amen. Ave Maris Stella. Hail, bright star of ocean, God's own mother blessed, ever sinless virgin, gate of heavenly rest, taking that sweet Ave, which from Gabriel came, peace confirm within us, changing Eva's name. Break the captive's fetters, light on blindness pour, all our ills expelling, every bliss implore. Show thyself a mother, may the word divine, born for us, thy infant, hear our prayers through thine. Virgin all excelling, mildest of the mild, freed from guilt, preserve us pure and undefiled. Keep our life all spotless, make our way secure, till we find in Jesus joy for evermore. Through the highest heaven, to the Almighty Three, Father, Son and Spirit, one same glory be. Amen. The Magnificat My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour, because he hath regarded the humility of his handmaid. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed, because he that is mighty has done great things to me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is from generation to generations to them that fear him. He hath showed might in his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the conceit of their heart. He hath put down the mighty from their seat and hath exalted the humble. He hath filled the hungry with good things and the rich he hath sent empty away. He hath received Israel, his servant, being mindful of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed for ever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <laughs> 